Hi kids! There's no such thing as a boy or a girl, and I can prove it. So gather around the family, the parents, everybody, answer my questions. You either say boys or girls. Who's usually taller? Oh, boys? Okay. But you've met some short boys, right? You've met some tall girls. So usually boys are taller, but not always. Okay. Who likes the color pink? <clears throat> girls? Okay. Um, but you've met girls who don't like pink. And you met boys who do like pink. So usually girls like pink, but not always. Everything you can think of that makes a boy or makes a girl is usually but not always. And some of them are not even usually. Where does that leave you? Free. You get to like what you like. You get to be who you are. Maybe you're even like me and you're not a boy or a girl. Oh dear Lord, from the moment we are born, we already categorize as being a girl or a boy. And in terms of gender identity, I think there are clearly a lot of people who identify wholly as a man or a woman, including most transgender people are either male or female. But some people don't neatly fit into the categories of being a male or female. In other words, their gender is not male or female. And one of these individuals is hmm, Jeffrey Marsh, a person whose gender which describe themselves with non-binary being. I am totally lost for words. Then who's having monthly period, getting pregnant and giving birth? This hypothesis will lead to no daddies or mommies at all. Oh gosh, Jeffrey, you didn't make a point here at all. This is actually insane. Height is not the same as liking pink. You talk about height and color, but you left that we have different anatomy. You are talking about here general characteristics, which aren't always the case. Let's talk about biology. How about that? Can you still deny it? Sure, a child should not be forced into one direction or another, but not allowing them to go in a chosen direction is, quite frankly, child abuse. My kids are fraternal twins. They always play together. I never told them what they can or cannot play. But my boy always plays with his car, Lego, and mechanical tools. And my girl prefers to play with her dolls, doing her arts and drawings. My son is a boy. And my daughter is definitely a girl. It is interesting to note here that you feel that forcing a gay child to act and behave straight is horrific, but forcing a straight child to act gay or indeterminate is totally acceptable. Likewise, forcing a child that identifies as the other sex to behave as the born sex is the epitome of abuse, but forcing a child to ignore their own sex and to remain indeterminate is the height of enlightenment you know as a parent we are here to prepare our children for life and living and not to force this kind of twisted views of the sexist rules well if you mean that human would not have any sex differences then we wouldn't be humans anymore so please Jeffrey Stop addressing your message to kids because this is really sad and frankly confusing for them. <laughs> Even for me, it's confusing already. So can't we just let them be kids? You know, I understand that you want to be heard and respected, but you also need to respect others. So please stop forcing your thoughts and ideology on others, especially the children.